Yeah. What's going on, family? What's man, going on, OG? I, man, I, I love, love your intro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, big court is in the building, man. Holding man. court. Man. Man. What's going on, family? What's man. going on, OG? I, man, I love, I love your man. intro. Big What's up, world? It's your boy, Big Court. From man, 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 I'm really jealous, you know bro. What? And, and let me, shameless plug, <laughs> that song is available on all streaming, streaming platforms, platforms by Sully Folk You, holding court theme man, song. Yeah. Bro, you, wow. you you don't understand. It come on like, a, I, I'm jealous, bro. Yeah. I'm singing? looking on Tubi, I uh, see it. Who's singing? Uh, that's Sully Folk You from Kansas City, Missouri. He produced it and he uh, rapped on it and sang on it. Wow. When yeah. I see it, I was like, dang, it's come on like, a, re, I'm, you know, I'm cutting my, yeah. my intros back. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I, I want to keep Changing, bro. Everything Everything's changed. Everything's changing. You know what? My apologies. Why go on, Mr. Hey, hey, why go on? Why go on? Why she got you? Oh, here we go. This Jamaican thing. Why, why go on? Man. He paid his respects. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I grew up with Jamaican, so you did. You know, I did. Yeah. Shower posse gangster niggas. Mm. <laughs> Shower posse is no, yeah. no play. Yeah. So, how's the show mm -hmm. going, man? Yeah. Man, the show is going phenomenal. You okay. know, uh, the brand is growing uh, exponentially. Um, you know, like I know, it's some changes with the social media part of it, with the YouTube and the algorithm and, and just social media in general. There's a lot of shit that's shifting. Um, but in terms of the brand awareness and the growth of the podcast, man, it's to the point now to where I'm having celebrities and people calling me. You know, wow. messaging me. They want to yeah. come on the show. Right. You know, which you you know yeah, you already hit that threshold <laughs> before me. But um, you know, and that's man, that's that's a gratifying feeling when yeah. you create something that that people respect and they love. And you know, when I travel, you know, YouTube is a. Month. I don't know if y'all get this, but I'm sure I'm sure you do. You know, just he get it more and I'm than sure. I do. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, okay. Said. When you travel, people be like, hey, like he you get it more than I do. Really? Okay. Yeah. I so, think the reason why though. Mm -hmm. And I'm blessed with this part mm -hmm. is the fact that people have been very respectful. Uh -huh. So I'll walk past mm -hmm. and they see me, but they won't say anything to They'll me. Come They'll me. hurry up and run inside looking. Yeah. They know that anywhere they see me, he's like exactly. right yeah. around exactly. the corner. So yeah. they're like, oh, yeah, I saw your wife outside. That's yeah. why I came and found yeah. you. So you know the power of this whole yeah. platform. Yeah. And, you know, it's always gratifying for me when I get people to come up to say, man, I love how you represent That's the cool. culture. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love, you know, how you do. And, and you know, my platform, as yours, you know, I created it, bro, to to really, you know, kind of contextualize the the culture as a whole and and make us look good, be truthful, but make us look good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Humanize us. Yeah. You know, even when I've had, um, like, I just had P. Frank Williams on, and and you know, the, he did the show uh, Hip Hop Homicide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. so as we talk about the deceased rappers. You know, I, I'm always cognizant to use pictures of them smiling. Yeah, right. you know yeah, what I'm right. saying. So I, you know, I had Mob James on. He shed tears. I had Watch wow. Homie Quan on. He wow. shed tears. So you know, I try to humanize. How do you the culture. feel about that? Because like, okay, when I love that, I yeah. love when people come on and they're talking. <laughs> Look at he show over there shaking his yeah. head. When people are talking and they get emotional and they, sure. they they cry, I mm -hmm. love that because yeah. it makes people want to hear your story more For it makes sure. them want to know more but mm -hmm. he'll try to divert it because he don't want to see a man or a woman on, crying man. or something those, those are special thank moments, you tell you know him saying? for me please like, especially in our culture a lot of yeah. a lot of niggas it's need a breakthrough to cry. right a lot of yes yeah, a breakthrough okay. a lot of niggas he'll need change to cry. the subject he's like Listen, oh let me pull you out of this hey, now no, so, it, it, okay you want him to cry the whole dang thing not, not the whole not thing, the whole no. thing but for instance right watch homie Quine came on my show and he was talking about, uh, and I'm not sure if, you know, I'm sure that they, people watching know who he is. And he did a lot of content with, um, oh man, the blood dude from KC, from BPS. Uh, rest in peace to uh, Lil Bop, okay. OG mm -hmm. Lil Bop. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he started tearing up because when he passed, it reminded him of his father passing wow. away when he was 17. Which, you know, that evoked emotion in me. Because mm -hmm. my mother passed away in 2010. So Ooh. now he up there crying before I know it, I'm crying. What? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just serious. And then my co host, producer Ken, he, he over there thinking about his grandma. He like, man, listen, y'all can have that. He turning around <laughs> from the camera like, <laughs> you See, know. I love that. Uh, but, yeah. but it was, you know, I've had some, some, some great moments. Mob James came on, and, uh, you know, I felt like he needed that moment, you know, um, you know, just. 
uh, it, you know, being transparent. It was therapeutic for him. You know, this is a gangster, straight up gangster, you know, and him, you know, talking about his upbringing and him being abused by his stepfather and him having a lot of regret with the things he's done in his life and reaching an age where, you know, he's become civilized, you know what I mean? Yeah, and so yeah. he's looking back on it and he's trying to atone for those things. But I, I love what I do, you know, <laughs> so, you know, and, and, and people see it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.